right, so here we are at the not quite winter NAM, the spring NAM, the only spring NAM probably that'll ever happen. So 2023, this is your NAM not quite first look at all these awesome cool things that we have here at the Balaguer booth. So, and standing right next to me, the namesake himself, this is Joe Balaguer. And we want to take a look, first of all, at like some of these signature models, because we've got some really, really ripping stuff over here. What we got, dude? Sure, so the first one over here is our Travis Miguel Thicket. So Travis plays in a band called Atreyu. They're pretty much a classic metalcore band. If you don't know about them and you listen to metalcore, then I don't know what to tell you. But uh, EMGX pickups, Floyd Rose tremolo. This is a 24 and 3 quarter inch scale guitar, so it's a shorter scale than what you would normally find from what we normally offer. Maple fingerboard, five piece maple and walnut neck through construction. It's a ripper of a guitar. Right on. And uh, he also has a second signature that is our growler model. We don't have one here right now, but just a bit different spec out. It's a gold top, hip shop branch. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the second two guitars, I'm actually going to bring the harness on camera. So Devin. Hey, how's it going? We've got here the uh, DS8 Typhon. It's got a uh, one piece roasted maple bolt on neck. I like a bolt on because it's nice and snappy, helps the low tuning, so loose. It doesn't, it doesn't get as muddy. Um, Ebony fretboard, stainless steel frets. Um, we've got my new Balaguer cauterizer pickups. It is a, you know, it's a triple ceramic stack with a really heavy wind, high output, very tight, focused. Got the hip shot Ibby bridge, hip shot dome knob, you know, push pull so you can do this with the coil splitting, three way switch, mahogany body, maple veneer. 27 inch scale length on this guy. Then uh, the DS7. It's also got, these are cauterizers as well. Got a pick guard, ebony fretboard, spoke wheel truss rod adjustment. It's pretty much the same specs of the eight as far as the hip shot MV, dome knob, coil split, one piece maple neck, roasted maple, bolt on again. I love them. 26 and a half inch scale length on this. And they rip. And then you've got a new signature artist that was just announced. What was it, yesterday? Yeah, so it's uh, Dan O'Connor of the band Four Years Strong. Fucking love Four Years Strong, dude. Me too, man. So this is just Thicket, one of two variations. This one is what we call our rustic barn burst, which is an open core finish over mahogany. It's like a brown to black burst. Pretty simple. It's got one humbucker in the bridge, Telly style. Which uh, humbucker is that? This is the ferrule, I believe you went with. Yeah, the ferrule. And then on the back side here, roasted maple, one piece neck, pretty simple guitar, locking tuner, stainless steel frets, Luma inlays. Like I said, pretty simple. Smoke wheel truss rod on the heel. Right on. This one also comes in gloss black with a roasted plain maple fingerboard. Black block inlays. And then I know you've been uh, doing some uh, some US built ones again, so kind of making sure that you're keeping your creative juices flowing. Why don't you tell me about some of these? Sure. So the top one here is a one off USA custom build that I did. Uh, we're using a robot grain, so aluminum neck, solid walnut body with a Danish oil finish, USA evergreen humbucker, hip shop bridge, aluminum. Big guard, aluminum pickup ring, one volume knob. Uh, this one specifically is tuned to C standard with a 12 to 60 set. Just a really heavy sounding and heavy feeling guitar. So these two guitars below that are part of our new USA production series. These both have 5A roasted flame maple necks and fingerboards. Nitro cellulose lacquer, finish over finish. So this is a shell pink over three tone sunburst. And then you see all the checking, aging, that's all done by us. The black down here, classic black over a three-tone sunburst. Same thing, aged. These are our feral humbuckers, which is like a hotter PAF-style humbucker, around 12.0K resistance, 
on Eagle 5 Magnet. I wanted to talk to you about this one because I know you said this was kind of a personal bill, but okay. this is this one's just kind of metal as fuck, so I really wanted to show this one off. This is so fucking sick, dude. 27 frets, right? Yes, sir. 27 what frets. What pickups you got in that one? This is my Hypernova humbucker, which is a ceramic magnet humbucker around 17K resistance. 43 gauge wire, just very aggressive and articulate and clear, hi-fi sounding. This is kind of what we normally pair with the Hypernova, which is our Nova single coil, which is brand new. And uh, just pairs well with a ceramic magnet humbucker. Three-way switch, one volume, kill switch. What more do you really need if you play metal? Right. This is my personal guitar, so it's 25 and a half inch scale, tuned to drop C with 11s. And absolutely sick crackle finish on that. It's got a lot of depth. Yeah. I, I love how it's so 3D, dude. It, it totally reminds me of those old school shred sticks from back in the day, so. That was the vibe I was going for, something very 80s. It, which is what I'm all about. So. Absolutely killer, dude. Absolutely killer. And a, a great neck profile on that, too. So definitely a, a thinner neck profile. Yep. Like, th thinner seat profile, right? Yep. Yeah, cool. Just absolutely a ripper. Thank you, man. So there you go. Balaguer Guitars here at NAMM 23. A few cool new products that are coming out. And I was telling you this yesterday, bro, but it's kind of interesting to me that, you know, this is a brand that we've been sort of following for a while, but they've gotten better and better and better every year. You know, I'm not trying to butter you up, dude. Like, I, 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 picked, I picked these things up, and like, even back then, they were still fucking rock solid instruments, but they've only gotten better. They only feel even better. So, Thank you, man. if you're looking for, uh, a semi-custom option, something that you can spec out a few things that are unique to yourself. Definitely consider following here because the shit's kind of rad. So, all right, Thank thanks you, so much. Yeah.